sun's out. But it's raining. Welcome to the beautiful Royal Park Raja Puik here in Chiang Mai. Good day. Uh, just one day. Thank you. So not too much going on today. Just show you around this beautiful area. With there being so many beautiful flowers around, it would be a shame not to take some macro shots. So I've got the flash and the, the lower lens on. Let's go have a look for some beautiful insects and flowers to photograph. Fortunately, they've just turned the sprinklers off, so there's lots of little water drops on the leaves and things. settings that you want on uh, your camera if you're taking pictures of macro things like insects and small plants and small flowers you want as fast shutter speed as possible so you're looking at one 125th of a second uh, if you're taking pictures of insects flowers don't matter so much because they're not going anywhere but insects move they breathe they flutter their wings and you can get a blur on those quite easy so you want as quick a shutter speed as possible and if you're shooting without a flash, it's very hard to keep from blurring your shots handheld. So a lot of people say don't use a tripod because you have to move back and forth so much. I would say that you only don't use a tripod if you're using a flash on top. A flash can provide all that extra light to get your shutter speed as quick as possible. And then you don't have to worry about camera shake. If you're shooting without a flash, you're shooting at one, one twentieth, one eighth of a second sometimes just to get something in focus, I'd say use a tripod, avoid the camera shake. It really is like everything with photography. It's uh, trial and error as far as your settings on your camera and the equipment that you're using. You need something that focuses very, very close. Uh, you can't really do macro with a super telephoto and stand three meters away. You wanna get a dedicated macro lens and you can get those for quite cheap. Macro lenses are niche products, but they are quite cheap. You know, the, the buy-in rate is quite cheap for them. And if you can get yourself a flash, any box standard flash will do. You don't need something special, uh, just something to get started. You preferably want a diffuser on your flash to avoid getting harsh lights. When you first get started, you'll be trying to take pictures of insects in any light. My recommendation would be get uh, eye level with what you're shooting top down doesn't really work so well so try and get on the same level as the subject that you're shooting as with anything if you're taking pictures of pets or people you don't want to be shooting them top down too often you just want to be looking at uh, looking at them in the eye eye level like that macro shots from weird angles don't really work don't work so well when you've got your f-stop, you're gonna to want to put it what the lens can cope with, f8, f11, before you hit diffraction, because the larger f-stop that you use, the higher it is, the more in focus you're gonna get. And when you're that close to uh, an insect or a flower, you've got the tiniest, like it's less than a millimeter focus area. So you don't really want it to uh, be wide open at f2.8 or anything like that. You want it to be around f8, f11, and try and get as much in focus as possible. But as with anything, don't take my word for it. 
use what I've said as a basic rule of thumb and get out there and do it yourself. Thank mm -hmm. you.